In this video, we'll talk about global and local variables. So we have talked about variables before. We normally use them to store data. But now we have to introduce this concept where we can have a local variable and we can also have a global variable. But then what's the difference and why do we need it? So let's create one file here to understand. So let's name this as global demo.py and this is our file. Let's create a variable. Now, of course, you can use any variable name and variable name should make sense. But since we are into this learning process, variable like A will do. Now, let's say the variable value here is 10 and I think I have to snooze my copilot. So the value for A is 10 and now afterwards, if I try to print it, of course, this will work. And if this is not working, we have to stop learning Python. So I will say Python global demo.py and you can see we got the output as 10. That's perfect. Now, what I want to do here is I want to change the value of this A. So this is a variable. I can change the value and that's the benefit you get from the variables, right? Now, I don't want to change that outside. I want to change that inside a function. So let's define a function which will do something. And that's why we'll name this something. And how do you change it? Now, first of all, let me try to print the value of a inside the function as well. And of course, we need to call the function. Otherwise, it will not work. I mean, it will not print a value inside. So we are creating a function. We are calling the function. And inside this, we are printing the value of a. But also, I want to write something so that I can differentiate between this particular print and this particular print. So we are writing inside. So here, it should be outside. So I will say outside and looks cool. So now you tell me in your mind, of course, will this print or will this work? Can we use the variable created outside the function? And can we use that inside the function? Here, this will work for sure because we have done that before. But what about the function? Let's try it out. So I will just clear this and run. It is working. Okay, I forgot to add a colon. It should look good, right? Uh, clear, run. So now it is printing both. That means this is working, that is working. So inside the function, you can use the variable which is created outside. But what if you create this function or you create this variable inside? So somewhere here, you say a equal to let's say 15. Can you use it here? Now your ID says there's no problem. There's no warning here. But if you can see there's a warning, there's a yellow line goes there or a sign wave goes there which says A is not defined. I mean, that's weird. We have defined it, but we have defined it inside a function and we are trying to access it outside the function. That's the real problem. Now, this is similar to what you have. Let's say when you have a house, it's your house. It's your private property. And whatever things you have inside your house, it's your things, right? But the things which is outside, let's say in the park, there's a bench, uh, you went on a beach, there, there's a sand there. Now, all these things are public. So you, if you go to a beach and grab a sand, no one will say anything, right? Uh, but yeah, if you are on a beach and if you see a phone there, don't pick it up. That belongs to someone. But sand is okay. Uh, the garbage on the beach is okay. It, you're supposed to clean, the, clean that up. But the things inside your house, if someone from the outside comes to your house and say, okay, I want to grab this, not allowed. Because that's a private variable or the local variable. So this thing here is a local variable. And in fact, not just ID, if you talk to the interpreter, even that will say, what you doing? And you can't access that. It's not defined. It's not defined outside. It's defined inside. You can't access it here. So we have to de declare the variable or define the variable on both the side, outside and inside, so that you can use it. I mean, inside is optional. You can use it, the outside one. But now, if you observe, the moment I ran it, we can see the value. Inside value is 15. Outside value is 10. That means they are not pointing to the same variable. We are actually creating two different variables. Cool. So that, that makes sense, right? Because you are creating this variable. This is a global variable here. So we can say this is a global variable. And what you created inside here, this is the local variable because this is created inside the function. Uh, so we got two variables. But what if I want to change the value of A, which is created outside. Now I want to change that inside the function because this is not working. This is creating a new variable. Now, how do you use the outside one? And this is where you have to find a way to access the global variables. 
And for this, thanks to Python, we got this inbuilt function called globals. So let me show you what global looks like. So this is globals function. Okay. Now this function basically returns the dictionary, but what it returns in the dictionary format, it returns the dictionary containing the current scopes global variable okay uh, variables not just one so if you have multiple variables it will return all the variables to you so if i create a variable b variable c all the variables you will get it here and not just variables you will get something extra uh, and we will get to know that by printing it so we are printing in this format so this is a dictionary you can also print this in the format of you know key value pair by running a loop but just, i just want to keep it simple i'm just going to print it as it is so i will just clear the screen run and if you observe a lot, lot of things here this is the entire dictionary which you have now this is your key the first key and this is a value we have not talked about this name yet we'll talk about that later uh, then we got doc which is none we got a package which is a key this is a value this is a key this is a value and so on and we have not created them this is what python gives you there's one more dictionary which is file or one more key which is file and you got the value which is your file name then you got the file the key which is cached it says none that's the value and then comes in interesting part which is this a is a key 10 is the value that's the global variable but we also got something as a key and the function something at this location as a value. Now we don't have to do anything with the function. We are concerned only about this particular thing. Okay, so you can use this. Now instead of printing the entire dictionary, I can fetch one value, which is A. And this is treating that key as a string. So you can see it is in single quote. So I can fetch the value here. Let me clear it, run, and you can see it is printing 10. So this is 10 because of this statement here. So whatever value of you have for the global variable, you are printing it. I just don't want to print it. I want to assign the value. So what you can do is you can just remove this. I don't want to print it. I want to assign it. So you can say globals of A and then you can assign a value, which is let's say 20 in this case. Okay. Now what you're doing is you are changing the value of a global variable, which was 10 initially. Now you are making it 20. But will this work? That's what we want to check. So clear, run, and you can see the global variable, which is outside, is printing 20. The inside is still 15. We are not impacting it. Okay, it's just the outside which we are changing. Now, if you are not sure, uh, let's declare it outside. I mean, let's define it before you set the global variable so that uh, we'll know. And I forgot to put this part as well. So now we are defining it here. Then we are changing the value for the global variable. Then we are printing. So the sequence should not matter. And you can see inside is 15, outside is 20. Now this is the concept of global variable and local variable because we are going to uh, use it after some time or in the upcoming videos. And that's why we talked about global and local. See you in the next part.